Okay, so let's head over to Canva. Um, this is what you'll see upon logging in. It is a free program to use. You just uh, have to submit a, an email and create a username and password, but there's no charge to sign up for a Canva account. And you'll get a whole bunch of options here in terms of the types of uh, layouts and proportions that you can create. And in fact, we'll just have a look. There's actually a, even a broader selection you can choose from. So pretty much anything you needed to create would be here, whether it's a social media header, um, flyers, letters, presentations. Um, it's all it's all here. Um, so in this demo, we're going to make a flyer for a sample sale, ostensibly for for so young. So why don't I do a, I'll do a letter size document here, and you'll see down the left here we have a bunch of layouts to choose from. So there's photos in in the layouts as demonstrations, you can use that photo, but actually Canva has a huge um, has a huge library of photos you can choose from. So let's say, for instance, I was looking for food photos. Um, you'll get a huge uh, number of uh, elements you can choose from. Now, there is a charge for these. You'll, there'll be a dollar charge for each item you use from Canva in your layout, but still very reasonable. Um, I've also uh, uploaded a bunch of my own photos, which I can use free of charge. So that's a great option if uh, if you have your own assets. So so let's start with a layout. Um, I'm looking for a layout for the sample sale. And because we have a number of different product categories, I want to make sure we feature different products. I'm looking for a layout that has a bunch of photos. So these these are kind of standing out to me here. I like like this one. So um, yeah, so this gives me the opportunity to, to show a couple of photos. So why don't I I'll just click on that and that'll actually load this layout. And you'll see that there's photos preloaded here and you just need to replace those with your own photos. You also notice there's a filter applied to these photos. So that's an element of this design, but you can edit everything uh, once, you've, uh, once you've decided what you want to do. So let me check my uploads here. So pull a few. These are some So Young photos that I've already uploaded to Canva. Uh, so you literally just drag it over and there it is. So I've got a backpack. Let me bring a, maybe some... Uh, some lunch boxes over here, and I guess I'll grab a cooler bag photo here. So drop that in. I see now that needs to be repositioned. So whoops, not the whole thing. Just want to grab that photo there and position it inside of that frame. Check and uh, one more. I'll grab a diaper bag photo here and put it up in this area here. Okay, so. Yeah, that's looking okay. Everything seems to to fit. Um, I think I might tone down. I might find a different filter here. So I'm going to tone that down. Let's see. I'm just going to grab the filter here. So there it is as a normal piece. It's I like filters. Filters kind of help tie all the photos together in terms of their visual look and feel. So I'll just apply that same filter to all of the photos now. Cali filter. And this one here. I have the Cali filter and this one here. Great. Now you can even go a little more, if you want to get into a little more minutia, you can, there's a advanced options here in terms of how I um, uh, can adjust the photo and maybe bring them a little closer together. But these are looking pretty consistent here. They're all shot against a, a white background. Um, so, so really, Already we've got a pretty good uh, looking little layout here. Now I've got to deal with the content here. So I'm gonna, maybe I'll just replace this. Uh, we'll start over again. Um, I like the circle, but um, I'm gonna have to select each of these elements individually now. And okay, let's put the shift key down. Now sometimes using, because this is browser-based software, it's not quite as smooth as you know, a dedicated piece of software, but you know, it's pretty pretty cool for what it is. And select these guys here, get rid of those. So, so I like this circle idea in the center, but um, I may look around for something else. And that's the great thing about Canva is if I go into this text thing here, I'm going to find all kinds of different 
layouts. And, and what I love is that they've they've come up with a bunch of font combinations that are really kind of cool. And they, they get me outside of my box. You know, I tend to have the same fonts that I like and I use over and over again. So prevent present some some new font combinations for me to try out. And I can just drag and drop them here. So I mean these are all cool. Here's another circle one. Let's let's try this one. Yeah. All right, great. And I like the black against uh, against the background here. We've got this sort of almost sunburst effect. So I can literally just start replacing here. So let's let's type so young here. Great. And we'll get uh, this is so young sample. Oh, keep that caps sample sale. Great. And we'll consider the since 19 will give us the dates of the sample sale here, which is November. Uh, 13th, we'll see. So, um, yeah, so that's looking good, but it's kind of blocking out some of this stuff here. So I'm going to maybe take this down. It's going to actually just resize the whole thing for me. And you see, I can actually, it's giving me the guides here so I can center things nicely. I'll be, you make it maybe a little, little smaller here. Great. Okay, and um, I might want to just adjust the transparency of this one as well. Just I like to show a little bit. They're sort of blocking a little bit of the diaper bag there. So it gives it a little bit more, uh, shows a little bit more of the layout going on uh, behind it there. And uh, so there, very quickly, we have you know a pretty decent looking layout with some nice. Um, touches in terms of the typography and uh, yeah I really I really like going to Canva to get ideas even though I have some design experience I'll often get some inspiration and, and I can combine fonts maybe there's a font that I've never used before and I'll see it in a different context here and as some of the examples and uh, I'll try that out for something different so um, you know certainly as a brand you you probably want to have a set use of you know some some rules around how you use fonts but sometimes for one-off stuff it's it's fun to to also mix it up a little bit so let's just go with this for now i think that's looking pretty good and uh, considering the amount of time um, you know we've got something that we can output so um, the changes have been saved so canva actually is uh, saving in real time it's cloud-based software so you don't have to worry about losing your work sometimes it'll it'll lag a little bit but generally you have the option that you can always go in and, and and save your file as well just click the save button here and essentially when you're done you just uh, you can download it there's a few options in terms of download. There's uh, sort of web rev resolution images here in both JPEG and PNG. Or if you wanted a print file, this is, it'll actually output a pretty high resolution file. That does mean that you'll have to ensure that your photos, the photos that you've uploaded, if you're using your own photos, are high enough resolution to support a print piece. Um, anything that you use from Canva's uh, you know, da database of photos uh, presumably will will also uh, render at a high resolution if you choose to download it. So so let's just uh, start the download here. And um, that's going to end up in my downloads folder. And you'll notice here it says downloading is free when you use only free elements or your own images as we've done. Um, and Canva just cho chooses um, to charge a dollar uh, per image for the images you use of theirs. So, Great, so there's our, our design. We can uh, see it in the finder, and there it is, uh, something we can uh, send to the printer and print out. So there's just a, a quick tour of Canva. Um, you can see what's possible. I put together a really nice looking layout in a very short period of time.